Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy su Saturday. All right, today I'm going to show you a, a quick tip that it helps. Um, sometimes I see um, clients that have their data in Word documents, okay? And this only works if you have the table you're using the Excel table in the Word doc, okay? Um, I know that there's some scanning, scanning um, software that will convert your Word doc. Don't quote me on this, but it will convert your Word doc to um, Excel. But I digress. I don't. I don't really know about it too much. I, I've Vaguely you used it for uh, PDFs. I wanted to make some PDFs, so I scanned some documents and they automatically became PDFs. But in any case, this is what I have here. And what I want to do is convert this to Excel, right? Because let's face it, I'm going to analyze my data in Excel, right? So what I would do is ha make sure you have Excel open, first of all. So I have Excel open over here, right? I'm going to right-click, copy, go to Excel. And Excel has several features, one being keep the original formatting, which is really not necessary. These bold lines are not necessary. OK, um, I would just pick what is this match destination formatting? I would just pick that. And there you go. And then you could continue on your, your your with whatever you're doing. So this was just a quick tutorial on how to convert Word to Excel. OK, another thing you could do that's totally unrelated I've seen people struggle with is convert your output, your SPSS output to a Word document. So how do you do that? Well, if you go over here and you highlight, hover your, your, your cursor on this yellow box and then you right click it. and then hit export. Okay, now this is going to convert this document wherever you want it to go. So, of course, you should make sure that you have the right path, right? Let's call this, uh, no. So then I would hit OK. And then when you go into your, your, your Windows Explorer, you should be able to find the document. OK? And then you could just go ahead from there. You could open up the document and do some edits. But this, you know, you shouldn't be struggling with this. Some people, they save these documents, their output directly from here. Uh, you need um, SPSS to view an SPV file because that's what your output would default to. All right? So um, you would hit save, make sure it's an SPV file, and you could save your SPSS file uh, uh, output that way. So this was just a quick tutorial on things that you could do in either SPSS or Excel to make your, your exporting um, a lot easier. Thank you for listening.